Hi friends, welcome to the class of Formal Language and Automata Theory. Coming to the next topic, that is e-closure of a state. So we'll see what is this e-closure of a state. So it is a set of reachable states from a given state with epsilon transition. In the previous lectures, we have seen that whenever you want to reach from one state to the another state, you require some input. You have taken like 0, 1, A or B. But you can have another option, another concept in finite automata that you can move from one state to the another state without giving any input. So that is a concept you call it as e-closure. That is a transition we call it as epsilon transition. So let us consider an example here. So here you can see I can move from Q0 to Q1 without taking any input. That's why I call it as epsilon transition. I can move from Q1 to Q2 without giving any input. That is a transition you called as epsilon. Now here you need to find the concept of e-closure. That is set of reachable states from given state with epsilon transition. So now we need to find e-closure. E-closure of any state. Let us suppose I'll consider here among three states I'll find one by one. So e-closure of Q0. So what it is, is what is the definition it is saying all reachable states before entering e-closure of anything first include the state let us suppose if I take e-closure of Q0 first include Q0 so if I want to take e-closure of Q1 first we need to take Q1 like that first you take the state itself then go for what are the reachable states with epsilon transition from Q0 I can move to Q1 with epsilon that's why here I can write Q1 See, I can go for Q1 to Q2 with epsilon. You can see here Q0 to Q1 epsilon, Q1 to Q2 epsilon. Now can I say Q0 to Q2 I can move with epsilon transition? Yes, it's similar like transition. A tends to B, B tends to C, then we can say that A tends to C. Like this, we can say that Q0 to Q2 there is a epsilon transition. If you let us suppose if you don't find epsilon here, something input, you cannot say directly. But here you have epsilon transition from q0 to q1 q1 to q2 is there that's why i can write q0 to q2 direct epsilon that's why i can reach q2 without taking any input that is epsilon that's why i included q2 also now e closure of q0 means what are the reachable states i can reach q0 to q q0 itself by without taking any input so for q1 with epsilon q2 with epsilon i can move that's why these are all comes under e closure now E closure of Q1. So first of all, I need to include Q1 itself. Now, can I reach Q1 to Q2 with epsilon? Yes. See, I cannot reach Q1 to Q0 with epsilon. This is Q0 to Q1. There is a direction you can observe. If there is epsilon transition in reverse, you can include, but there is no reverse transition. So that's why only Q1 as well as Q2. Now coming to E closure of Q2. So first I need to include Q2 and there is no epsilon transition from Q2 that's why only Q2 can be included in E closure of Q2. So like this we need to find E closure of a state in a particular finite automata. Let us consider one more example. So here also you can see if we follow the same thing E closure of Q0. So first of all I need to add Q0 next q0 to q1 yes i can reach with epsilon q0 to q2 yes why because q1 to q2 is also there can i reach to q3 no let us suppose uh, this you take it as zero can you reach to q3 no why because q0 to q1 epsilon is there q1 to q3 no epsilon transition that's why you cannot include in q0 no e closure of q1 so what is e closure of q1 first of all you need to include q1 next q1 to q2 yes there is what about q1 to q3 there is no epsilon transition that's why only q1 q2 in q0 in q1 next e closure of q2 so first you i need to include q2 there is no epsilon transition now finally e closure of q3 so q3 only there is no epsilon transition like this we need to find e closure of a state in a particular finite automata. 
so this is a concept of finding e closures so e closure of a statements all the reachable states and not only that you need to include first the state itself you need to include in q0 q0 i included first q1 q1 like this you need to include then this is you call it as e closure and this is useful in finding or converting nfa with epsilon transition to without epsilon transition that we will see in the next lecture thank you